Welcome back guys. Today we're going to cover everything regarding resources and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you what are the fastest ways to get resources for your base. Okay, so basically trying to get the resource you need to upgrade your base and expand your base um, in the quickest way possible. As you guys can see, we've overhauled the base a bit. We've got our two furnaces, we've got the grill, we've got a little um, shed to sit in while we're waiting for our furnaces. Got the workbench, we've got the bed. I've um, installed the two racks, which you get when you go to base building, decorations, and then furniture. You get these metal shelves. Okay, if you want a good indication, you can see the space that is not glitching through the wall. When I place the shelves, I try and put it in line with the tile's front portion, so I could have brought it a bit more forward, a bit more forward. And when I place the, the crates, I let the front edge of the crate be on the edge of that, on the front edge of that rack. Okay, same with the big ones, front edge. And that way I know it's not glitching through the wall, okay, which gives you enough space. So, without further ado, let's get to the processes. As you can see, I put a nice um, ramp here, upgraded it as well. And I got a quad for myself, which I hid in there. Phew, which is still in there, okay. Now, let's get to number one. Number one is rocks, okay? When you go to crafting, base building, you go to structures, your foundations are goal number one. So rocks and lumber is your first objective, okay? To upgrade the base. And then after that comes your walls, your platforms and everything. Of course, that requires lumber as well, okay? And then after that, to upgrade it, you need the iron ore. Okay, so let's get to the rocks. The quickest way to get rocks is to hit it with a pickaxe. I'm going to see where this thing falls because I do have a quad. Yeah, the first way um, to get this is with a pickaxe. Um, and then beside roads, you can run beside a road and a lot of the times you'll see there are rocks on the ground like on these surfaces. So beside roads and close to rocks, you can pick up rocks like this. And then you can hit the rocks with the pickaxe as well, which is the fastest way. The other way is to chop trees for wood. And then unfortunately to get iron ore, the fastest way to do that is to hit it with a pickaxe as well. But let's go look at getting stuff for your base like decorations and let's go look at lumber and i'm just going to give it a sec i don't have a weapon but if this thing drops close to me i'm definitely going to see because the server is um, quiet so yeah i've only got a melee weapon i'm just going to see if this thing drops close to me if it drops close to me i'm going to go for it if it doesn't drop close to me i'm not gonna go for it how do i know if it's close to me or not i never ch oh yeah i usually don't change it but i mean i wanted to see it from a distance so as soon as it drops i'm gonna see how far it is away from me okay and let's just check That's very close. I'll be back, guys. Is my base closed? Yep, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I think I'm already a bit too close, but one tip I can give you about a drop is to never stop too close to the drop, okay? Airplane crash, you can go for it directly because before it hits the ground yeah you have to be there to loot it but with an airdrop it takes quite a while to get down to the ground and you don't want your vehicle to get taken so you want to stop quite a distance away 
just so that you know you can still get there by running okay and if you want to fight take weapons with you um if you don't want to fight you know don't take a lot with you and you might ask yourself why go for a drop when we've just started out first reason is a c4 drop second reason is weapons third reason is um a build, yeah, the mo most important thing while you're building a base is a builder's drop. A builder's drop is going to give you base parts. And it's not that rare. Okay? And we might die here, but I really don't care. We don't care if we die. So yeah, boulders drop. Very, very important. Not having any loot on you, if you don't want to fight, is quite important as well. Because if you have a bunch of loot on you, you know, you're not going to be able to carry everything that, dro that the drop has. So that's also very important. I'm just going to go for it. If someone's waiting for me, it's fine. It's early in the morning hours. I think the servers only had one or two people but I mean one person is enough to kill you and if he's gonna kill me I don't really have a problem with that do I need to say more guys do I need to say more? And I'm going to show you the guides as well. But we need to prioritize here what we want. We don't want that. We want that. Um, sheet metal is great. Can we throw that away and pick up that? Yes, we can. Okay. We can always come back for the drop. But yes. Think about how much lumber... <laughs> this was just pure luck guys this is the first drop i went for okay i didn't time anything i didn't plan anything i didn't record 100 drops so this is literally the first drop that i went for so it's just pure luck um but yes imagine the amount of lumber and you know um iron ore you have to get and harvest and everything like that okay so it saves you a heck of a lot of time and as soon as we're in safety Try and research these guides as soon as you can. I just heard a spider explode, so I think someone is close here. I'm not going to give him the chance to kill me. Maybe he's going to kill me in any case. Okay, guys, you won't believe this. From Orkadam, I took a shortcut to the base, and I thought I was sure where the river was. I knew I, I had to drive along the river, you know, to get to the base. But as you can hear, you can hear the water. So yes, drove the quad directly into the river. And I was planning on driving back with the quad. And if you guys are wondering why on earth would you drive back with the quad. Um, you know because you could lose it. I can't keep the quad guys. That's the great thing about the quad. You can't keep it. As soon as you log out you go to sleep. The next time you come back it's gone. So risking a quad on airdrops. Is not really a loss at all. Okay. So I definitely exploded on the... I drove into this side of the river.
Oh, there's a smoke signal. Fantastic, man. Smoke signal is definitely going to help me find my quad. So it's a good thing. Good thing I died so close to the base. Yeah, we're just ramping through the hills, trying to get here as soon as possible. And I stuffed up a bit. Actually, I think I stuffed up royally. But in any case... Okay. Now to get my body. steady Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. So we lost the quad. That's not a major issue. I want to show you the guides that you can get. Bridges 2, ramps 2, stairs 2, platforms 2, walls 2, watch tower guide. Okay? These are good guides. Definitely. I think I've learned them all. Yes, but when you're starting with your base, it's fantastic. Now, what is really fantastic is this is two stacks of iron ore. So we've got two, four, six. We've got eight stacks of iron ore. Okay. So let's get back to the base. And I'll show you how to plop this down very quickly. Okay, here we are at the base, guys. Go to freeform, place, move, place, move, place, move, place, move, place, move, place. Okay, I'm gonna try and place this, um, these guides in my, in the kiosk, if I get some M coins, and I'm gonna kill a few mutants, so I'm sure I'll be able to get some M coins. Um, I'm a bit sad about the lug wrench, or the spanner that I threw away, because that did 45 damage, so it's a really, really great weapon. But yeah, before it gets dark, Let's quickly finish the resource gathering shortcut. So because the closest town to me is K Bay, I'm gonna run to K Bay now, so I'll be back shortly. There you go, so the tower is there to our right. Remember it was on the beach side. And there's a bunch of houses for us to loot. But factories are gonna be your main goal when it comes to lumber. 
Now, with that drop, it really made our life easier. So, of course, we know the bushes gives you 75% of the time, it gives you thatch. The other 25 or 30% of the time, it gives you sticks. And 70% of the time, it gives you um, thatch. Okay, so mostly thatch. And then a few sticks, but I you can see there's a bunch of bushes here. But the factories are the main goal, and I hope someone hasn't looted it yet. And the reason why factories are great, I don't have a torch on me. Okay, you guys won't be able to see a lot. I'll just get my weapon out again. Is vehicle parts and uh, base parts. Okay, but the biggest thing. Check your wheel, a wheel, a wheel, some of three wheels, okay? But the biggest thing here is the lumber. So we, uh, this hasn't been looted recently. So we're just going to see how much lumber we can get from here. Canvas item, not a bad repair kit. Work light, that's a base part. Another work light, that's a base part. Renegade repair kit. stuff away that we get here sorry guys I can see just as little as you guys can see but we're gonna get to the point very soon come on give me the lumber can't get lumber everywhere guys but you will get lumber don't worry and if you don't get lumber you'll get other parts really sorry that I don't have a torch on me now but like I said there are spots where you can get lumber from look for the icon And yes, duct tape is very important. I'm not going to tell you now why. And we're not worried about this mutant at all. The lumber is our main focus here. Looking for the spot to pop up for the lumber. Okay, 64, so we ha we would have had to hit the tree about 130 times, okay, to get what we have found here. 
and we can run away from these mutants quite easily if we wanted to. But I'm not really interested in running away. Let me get a sheet metal. Get another sheet metal. Let's look at the cars. But yes, guys, factories are the fastest way to find lumber by a long shot. And then you've got these underground bunkers, which I will show you down the series at some spots. And then when it comes to chairs and stuff, these places, these garages are good, um, good places. You know, we've got a nice welder's mask there. Don't know why we've got a wheel. But yeah, yeah, you normally get camping chairs and stuff. You get electronical parts here where you can get electrical parts for your lights. You get lumber in them as well. So yes, garages. It's a very, very good place. And I mean, you can get wood logs around the houses as well. So going through a town is quite a great idea. oil tools duct tape duct tape very important guys Matthias, why is duct tape important with a jaster and a scrap metal you can make a silencer with duct tape you can make that okay so yeah scrap metal and jaster so the duct tape is important, okay? But remember to pick up all your yasters, um, your soda cans, yasters soda cans, because suppressors are going to help you out a lot. See, we need a light. We need a light. So we're gonna go to equipment, tools, one rag and one stick. We've got a rag. I mean, you can make a stick. So equipment, tools. You need to press T, guys, to hit someone with this thing. Okay, but if you're wondering about a Malgadino, okay, great place to get parts. So, yeah, don't press your mouse button because you're just going to put out the fire. Just press T, headshot, move away, and another headshot. Okay, same as any weapon, guys same as any weapon only thing you need to run away from is a brute no well, quite unlucky that we're not getting any base parts there's the factory let's check the mutants give you gives you am coins sometimes There we go, water jug. Perfect thing for the base. While we are on that, we need the big ones. We need the big ones. Here's the grill, like I showed you guys. I'm looking for the water barrel. The water jug and the water barrel works hand in hand. Handcuffs, spark plugs, probably clothing up there. Can we carry this? Oh, we're a bit overweight. Let's throw away that. It's going to make this lighter.
But yes, guys, I'm sure you get the picture. Okay, factory through towns is going to help you, but um, focus on the factories. You know, just make multiple runs to the factories um, so you don't waste any time. And yeah, I'm going to get a water barrel to show you guys how to use a water barrel. Here's the water barrels, but I can't pack this one up. Really? Again, there's a pop-up canopy. Great base part. Lumber. So you can get quite a bit of lumber. Quite a bit of base parts and wood. And a fire station is great as well. Got the generator. Okay, the sheet metal is way too heavy, so we're going to get the generator. Got the propane tank, so we're gathering a bunch of stuff for the base right here. Okay, now we're gonna need to release some weight. This is medium, 7575. 75. Mm, not the same. Okay, so we need to clear some weight here, guys. But not a lot. Not a lot of weight. There we go. Now if we run into a person, we can defend ourselves. And yes guys, there are water barrels, you can pick up some of the water barrels and you can take them to your base, okay? But I'm already heavy. And then yeah, here's the kiosk, so we can take those guides, you know, bring it to the kiosk. And normally... Now that's it guys, I'm going to look for a water barrel, I'm going to see you guys the next episode, um, hope you learned something, and yeah, have a great isolation day, and always enjoy yourself.